Jellicube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a quick dip, quick dip. I'm going to, um, I did a, a dip last couple of weeks on, I did one dip on, um, what was it, on the um, scr uh, bubble wrap dip. So I'm going to try and I did it with the pre-made pouring paints. I actually get the very best results when I dip um, with with poster paint, tempura, tempura paints. So today I'm this is this is paints I have left over, and these are the acrylic paint. So I'm going to dip canvas to canvas. So I'll pop that one over there. Just going to try it on these little canvas with the ordinary acrylic paint. This is quite thick. This one. So I'm going to see how we go on trying the dip with the acrylic paint mixed with my pouring normal pouring medium. So I'm going to do the sort of the V chevron pattern. Uh, you could do it all over your canvas. I'm not. I think the last one I did. Oh, this is a really thick, much thicker than I would use for pouring but I'm just hoping that it will hold its shape better because it is thick so we'll just see this noise you can hear is my cup turner it's got um, a piece that I've my cup that I just resined which will either be the video will be out before this one or after this one so I can't turn it off because um, it'll ruin the drying process of my uh, resin of the cup so sorry for the little bit of a clicking noise this one looks messy so i like doing the v's because i just find it just i don't know gives them um, a nice effect to your dip when you take the canvas uh, you know take your other top piece off it's a bit of an odd, an odd bod one, but just in my art lab mode today, I might save that cup to mix up some more paint. Same colour. Now this is the Berry Delicious. So it's a very dark, like cherry red, like black cherry type look on it. So I only have a little bit of this left. I just come to these last few bits of paint and I thought try the dip and see if they work equally as well with just my um, uh, acrylic paint like I said the last one I did last week was just with the pre-made pouring paint and I've done them um, yeah, several times with the, the uh, poster paints and it worked great. This is an orange and that was cool red. So this is just the everyday orange, but I always add a good dash of a yellow, bright yellow in my orange because then it makes it even more yummy, citrusy. Stand out a bit more. Gosh, that cup turner's got a bit of a, a wonky sound on it now, so I don't know if it's about to cark it. Okay, this is the bright yellow that I have left, so I might, yeah, just put a bit of this in, why not? I might be able to dip more than two, uh, one other canvas, I might be able to dip twice on it. We'll just see. So these are 20 by 25 canvases. So they're not very big but if you do you know three or four or even five they look really nice put in them um, I've got these long frames that I get just from our local um, Kmart here and they fit very well in there so okie doke right white uh, the white is probably way too runny I'll end up I think maybe I'll 
plastic on the white just around the edge because the white might end up then diluting the paint too much and it might go a bit muddy. Not sure, but the white is very runny because I'd previously used it for a um, blowing out a Dutch pour, so that's a bit too runny, I would think. But anyway, we'll give this a go. So in for a penny, in for a pound. So I'm just gonna pop my canvas on top. So this is a true dip, dipping the canvas or kissing, canvas kissing. It's no balloon kissing, it's canvas kissing. But to actually do balloon kissing on a dip afterwards is really lovely too. So it's just a gentle press. So you're pushing all that paint to get onto the other canvas. So I'm gonna turn my canvas over. Ah, yeah. Nearly slid off. So that'll definitely transfer the paint from one canvas to the other. This might be a dog's dinner or it might look okay. Who knows? So let me... Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness, look at that is a beauty. That is a beauty. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Do you know what? I'm not gonna put any heat on it because it's already getting cells in because I remember now these paints, I did add one drop of silicon for a previous um, painting that I did, but look at those. Oh, there's too many cells coming. You know when you just don't want the cells? Oh, but I must try those colors now without any silicone in. That is lovely. I'm really happy about that. That is a beauty, isn't it? I think it's good. The colors now I have to, well, I've got to, I don't have to write it down. I've got reference because I've got a video. So that's a lot of the reason you, is good for you to video yourselves, even if you don't want a, a channel, YouTube channel, because then you've always got a record there of literally what you did. So, and what colors you used. I'm gonna get little teeny tiny balloon. It's got a little bit of water in it. I'm gonna press in some of these, do the kisses in some of these areas that have got the cells that I don't like. So just a few tiny kisses don't actually look like kisses. They look like fairies and fireflies. So some of the cells that are coming up, if you put your balloon in the middle of a cluster of cells, it, it makes them come into a really lovely effect. Oh, I love these colors though, together, just as they are. Wow, wow, wow. Love it. So just put, kiss your balloon. So you Makes a kissing sound, hence balloon kissing. If you can hear it over that wonky cup, Turner, my Tina Turner. Oh, I love this, but I don't like the cells that have come up because this is one thing that I would have really not wanted the cells. So hence why I am any excuse for a balloon, I say, but. Absolutely gorgeous. And I have got another balloon, a dip that I did on canvas over a year ago that's got over 600,000 views and it actually has earned me the most money um, of any YouTube video. So there you go. I will probably do another video about that, how much that particular one good video can earn a YouTube artist. Would you like to know how, I mean, I'm here in Australia and I obviously have ads put on my YouTube channel so I can get, you know, so I can get some come back from the financial reward from what I put out, but it, you guys don't have to pay. You can skip the videos if you choose. 
But anyway, it might be interesting for some, I just, oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. I hope you do too. Now I really want to mix up some paint without the, um, any silicon in whatsoever, which I haven't been using for ages, but I just did a previous video. Um, it's already up on YouTube now, but look at that. It's gorgeous and I love it. Tell me what you think, guys. Until tomorrow, I will say bye for now. Please take care of yourselves. If you're feeling sad or lonely or a bit down in the dumps, ring a family member, ring a helpline, but don't suffer in silence. Do something that gives you joy, whether it's going for a walk, taking your dogs out, doing some art, doing some gardening. Just get stuck in and do it for your own mental health. So until tomorrow, you lovely people, thank you so much for joining me. Um, bye for now.